Hi guys, this is Scribbly again with another pen review. And today we're having a look at something special. The Pelican M205 Demonstrator, which is a special edition fountain pen. And I mean, hey, Pelican this year really is on a special edition spree. I almost can't count them anymore this year. Of course, there was the 180 years um, Jubilee as well, which sort of like added to the stock, so to speak, of special editions. This is one of them, and it's a really nice one, I gotta say. A couple of years ago, they had like an M200 demonstrator with a gold trim. Now we're seeing a M205 demonstrator here with a silver trim. When that gold trim M200 special edition went out, there were very many people saying, hey, we would like to have an M200 demonstrator again. There was an M800 demonstrator in the meanwhile. So it was really a requested model. So I'm really glad that Pelican sort of reacted to the um, requests of the fans and brought that model here. Um, I want to say thank you to Papier und Stift.de in Germany. You see the website here, www.papierundstift, which is German for paper and pen.de, who sent me that pen for review. Anja, thank you very much for that. And you get that pen at Papier und Stift.de for a quite, quite nice price. Um, Normally costs 125 euro. That's at least the recommended price for the demonstrator here. At papierundstift.de, you get it for 109 euro, um, which I think is a pretty good deal. So if you're interested in that pen, feel free there to go there and check it out. Let's have a look at the pen. At the cap of the pen or at the top of the pen, at the finial, we have like the Pelican logo in silver, the Pelican with one chick right here, silver on black. Then we have like that typical Pelican crown kind of thing that you find on many Pelican pens or almost all of the very well-known Pelican pens. The bill-shaped clip here, that's of course very nice springy. I pointed out often in Pelican pen reviews that I find this clip that flares out down here to be one of the most useful clips out there because super easy to slide it into a pen pouch or shirt pocket. What I do absolutely love here is this like completely crystal clear cap, um, which of course does that when you have the pen capped, you can really see the beautiful Pelican nib in here. There are other demonstrators out there. This is one that I still have to review. This is like this uh, rather new uh, nickel gray, twispy uh, 580 ALR with those like ridges on here. It's also a nice demonstrator pen, but something that you can see here and often demonstrators have that like, let's call it a small issue a gray or colored inner cap, which, well, you sort of see the nip, but you definitely see it a whole lot better if it's a completely clear cap. And I like that very much on that pen right here. Then, as said, you see the nip even, uh, the ink even here, threads up here, center band saying Germany, Pelican. That's it. You see the piston mechanism in here, very nice, of course, with the piston fill on fountain pen. And of course, you see the ink in here. The one that I have in here is like this uh, Pelic uh, online brown. Um, it's actually like a not very well known ink, but it's a quite nice reddish brown ink. I recommend you to try it out. It's a, it's a bit watery, but behaves very well on paper, actually. And it's like a kind of inexpensive. So if you're into reddish brown inks, check it out. That's the ink that I have in here. You'll see it in the writing sample as well in a minute. And hey, I mean, that's the cool thing, right? About a demonstrator pen that you really see that ink slushing around in there. And when you like change the ink to a yellow ink or maybe a gray ink or a blue ink, you sort of get the whole pen gets a slightly different appearance in a way. Back there, we have a silver band here and then of course we do have like the 
knob, the turning knob for the piston mechanism that moves the plunger up and down right here. Great thing about Pelican pens is they uncap with under one twist. This was about half or three quarters of a twist and you're only yeah, about three quarters of a twist and you've already have the pen uncapped, which is great because it makes for a quick note taker. I pointed out in very many reviews, I don't like if I have to twist the cap for like more than one and a half times. That's sort of like borderlining to what I find acceptable. You have the section here that flares down quite a bit down there. It's like a little bit a thin pen. Most likely it's quite a comfortable writer to hold for most people out there. If you like something a little bit larger, you would have to go for an M600, but of course that's not available as a demonstrator. As said, it's a bit a thinner pen around like a Lamy Safari, I'll compare it to the Lamy Safari in a minute, but just something to be aware of lengthwise. And I have a little bit larger hands. It's really a nice pen, super balanced, really great. And when you post it, you add a little bit of extra length, doesn't throw the balance off whatsoever because like the weight sits right here in the web of your hand. Fantastic writer, posted as well as unposted. I prefer to write it posted because it just feels a little bit nicer in my hand, but it's plenty long enough to write it unposted as well. We then have like these fantastic Pelican steel nibs, some of the best steel nibs out there, if you ask me, saying Pelican, having the Pelican logo right here, same logo that you find on the finial of the cap as well, and then M designating that this is a medium nib, this is a steel nib, not a gold nib, but as said, really smooth, kind of springy, bouncy, really a pleasant nib to ride with. The Pelican feet down here, this typical quite large Pelican feet. And as you can probably see right here, you see some threading. This is a screw in nib. So you can just hold on uh, ideally with like a towel or something like that, a clean towel onto the nib and just screw the whole nib unit out and replace it even if you have an M400 or laying around with the gold nib of an M400 if you like. So that's kind of neat. Let's do a little size comparison. And just because I had that Twist B580 around, let's do a quick size comparison to a Twist B580 because the Twist Bs are demonstrator pens that many people probably have because they're kind of entry level priced. And maybe if you like the Twist B, maybe that Pelican is something, or if you like the Twist B, if you like demonstrator fountain pens, Maybe Pelican is something that you would like to look into. And since I had it laying around, why not? Doing a little size comparison here, but then of course, I'll do the size comparison as well to my standard size reference pen, which is the infamous, the one and only Lamy Safari. And you see that the M200 is like a sort of a smaller pen. But beware, because the pen only looks small when capped. When uncapped, you actually see that it's not that much shorter than the Lamy Safari, which is because the cap sits so tight on the nib. So that's also what makes that pen a great shirt pocket fountain pen, because capped, it's a really short pen, but uncapped, it's actually a nice and decently sized fountain pen. And that is the picture that we get. When we have the pens posted, but I would never post a Lamy Safari because it just gets a ridiculously long pen. We have the pen posted. Let's hop straight into a writing sample and zoom in a little bit onto this paper here that I still have left from the Pelican Harps that we have recently seen. So here we go with a Pelican M205. Demonstrator, my handwriting, as always, horrible on camera. This is a really nice nib. That skip here was myself. That was not the nib. Or it's maybe it's the paper. That paper is actually slightly awkward. 
because it also makes for a really fat line. Let me see if I have other paper around here. Yes, I do have some slightly grayish white lines paper here. I've reviewed white lines paper. Go to scribbly.org, search for white lines and you find a review of the white lines paper. And now I'll try with a little bit better handwriting. Pelican, M205, demonstrator, uh, medium nib, and you see no skips anymore. So as promised, it was the paper and comparison of the line width, you see that it's quite a big Quite a big difference, a lot fatter line here. I actually don't know why Pelican for its Pelican hubs, hubs uses such weird paper. Doesn't matter. This paper here is a little bit better. Wetness of that ink or of that pen and ink, of course. Medium. The ink itself is not very wet. The paper kind of absorbent. So having a picture like this here leads me to the conclusion that this is like a medium wet nib, not overly wet, not overly dry, but just really nicely tuned. And it's a true to the size medium as well. This steel nib, my friends, is really a pleasure to write with. Really like it and as promised, right? No skips at all. The skips that you saw on the paper before was the paper, not the nib. There you have it. And you also see what paper can make for a difference. Anja at papierenstift.de, I thank you very much for sending me the demonstrator here for review, guys. As said, check out the website, pen there only 109-ish instead of 125. Great fountain pen. If you like demonstrator pens, hey, I would go and check it out because it's a special edition meaning it's going to be available for a bit, but it's going to eventually run out as well as we have seen the M200 demonstrator with the gold strips running out back then. That was that with the review of this fabulous Pelican demonstrator fountain pen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next review. Bye bye.